life-saving pets who showed their courage and ferocity in the face of danger were honored today at the 51st annual Purina Animal Hall of Fame ceremony at Evergreen Brickworks. We're celebrating the 51st anniversary of the Purina Animal Hall of Fame, which is really the, the longest standing uh, or longest running um, pet recognition program in Canada. And it's to um, celebrate pets that have saved a human life. It's fantastic to be here today because, you know what, uh, this is all about celebrating the bond that we have with our animals. And that bond, of course, is something that we indeed love. We were in bed sleeping. I heard Tucker barking. He's growling, he's pacing around my bedroom, and he jumps up on my bed. He is, like, pawing at me, and I said, Jay, get up, something's really wrong. As soon as Jay opened the bedroom door, all you could see was this bright orange wall of fire. The fire alarms hadn't gone off because there was no smoke in the house. Where the fire had started, all the smoke had bellowed outside. With the fact that this fire started outside of the main living area, Tucker was able to provide that advance warning even prior to the smoke alarms activating. So I consider Tucker to be a hero. Four of us are alive because Tucker got us out of that house that night. Something just happened where he just was right there and Jay and I were completely asleep. We had no idea what was going on and this dog was like, something's wrong, guys. Like, wake up, Mom. Mm -hmm. Wake up, Dad. So he's our hero. He's just, you know, he was already our... We loved him already and we love him ten times more now. We had planned to do, like, a last-minute trip to the mountains. And I just didn't want to go anywhere. I just laid in bed there watching the football games. When I tried to roll out of bed there, I just rolled right onto the floor. Well, I knew I was having a stroke because I could feel that my left side was numb. Tapping the floor with my right foot. And then Roscoe came in my room, grabbed him with my right hand, and he swung me around and pulled myself up there. And then my phone was sitting right there on my, my bed. Grabbed the phone, phone 911. It's been hard, but it's been awesome to have my dad still here and be around my son and my other son. Yeah. <laughs> I went out for a walk with Shelby. Shelby was in front of me, like usual, and um, all of a sudden I just saw two cubs. I didn't know where the saw was, and then all of a sudden she just charged. Shelby just stood her ground in front of me, and the bear just came and just charged. She hit her. They were behind the bushes and all that, and you could see movement and all that, and then Shelby stopped and we thought the bear had killed her and then and he kept saying no, we have to get out we of have here to get out coming back from the edge of the field and all of a sudden there's Shelby and then we realized she was opened up really bad extensive wounds on her on her right side from the top of her back down to much lower in the uh, in, in the thorax she reacted without you know training or, or prompting and put her her life on the line you know to to save uh, Louise stories that we've shared today, just remarkable and just demonstrate the impact that these animals have on our lives.